So this is um, a homemade voltmeter um, combination voltmeter amp meter um, isolation box. I call it an isolation box. I don't know if that's a proper term for it. But basically um, I created this for when I'm working on my vintage radios when I'm restoring them. After I have that restored and I'm going to plug it into the isolation transformer. Um, I have a more of a cheapy isolation transformer and it doesn't show the amps it only shows volts um, and when you're plugging in um, a restored vintage radio or basically anything that's um, restored and vintage you want to bring it up slowly while you monitor the amp draw okay this is only a, a three amp um, amp meter which is fine because most things aren't going to pull more than an amp amp and a half um, if that if everything's working properly so with this I take pretend let's pretend this plug is the is the new cord off of the restored piece of electronic hardware I would plug it into this if I get my polarity correct there we go and then this would get plugged into my Variac. Okay. Now I don't have one to demonstrate right now. I mean I do, but I have to set it up. But that's not about that. That's just showing you the box. So as you would increase your, your voltage on your Variac, you're going to see the voltage increase on here depending upon what you're setting it up for now. Most of my household current around here is between 115 and 120. So when you had it all the way as far as you want to go on the Variac, you'd be reading it here. Well, as you're turning that up, you're watching your amps on this amp meter. If they go higher than you're anticipating, which in this case, I would say anything higher than one is going to set off bells and whistles with me. And that would typically show up in your lower voltages down in this range. And you wouldn't want to go any higher than that until you've checked out and figured out why you're pulling such high amps. Like maybe you've got a short to ground or, or something like that. Anyway, the purpose of this box was to show you how I built this thing. Um, I bought the amp meter on Amazon. It's a 0 to 250 volt <clears throat> AC voltmeter. I'm sorry, I call it amp meter. 0 to 250 volt um, a voltmeter on Amazon. And then I bought this 0 to 3 uh, amp amp meter on Amazon. Sorry for the glare. I got these LED lights above me here. And then I bought a double jack also on Amazon. And I went to my local Menards and bought an electrical outlet and the cover. And I went to, I believe it was um, Michael's, the store Michael's Hobbies. Michael's, whatever the heck they are. My wife goes there all the time, buys stuff. And got this thin wooden box. <clears throat> and um, I'll show you how I how I wired it here. I can get into this. So it's basically upside down. It's very very simple wiring. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't really worried about putting a fuse in here because uh, my fuse is in my Variac, um, and it's fused at I think two amps, five amps, might be five amps. <clears throat> but anyway. You can see um, I took a, a light nipple um, and put that in there along with um, an end for uh, a light to isolate and protect my cord here. Push that through and <clears throat> I ran the um, amp meter in series um, and then as you can see I, how I tied this in, right? So I've got um, where I tied into my voltmeter with my, my amp meter. I ran that over to um, my outlet. And um, <clears throat> also tied those into using the other side of the plug over to my 
jacks here. So I have my positive and negative on my jack, um, and I've got the amp meter run series and the and the, the voltmeter in parallel, and, and it really works nice. And it's, it's just a simple, clean little tool that's easy to put together. I'm sure they probably sell something like this, but I'm cheap, and so I decided I could build it myself. I think I have between the two gauges, <clears throat> the outlet. The box and the jacks, I probably have 30 bucks in it, which if you had some used parts, you know, you could probably build it a lot cheaper. But this thing really works well, and I use it on every project <clears throat> when I'm done with the project to get it up and running. So that's that. Um, I found a schematic for this uh, so I'd know how to wire it all up perfect. Um, I found a, a schematic on, on YouTube for it, so I could probably put it together if need be, but for now, that's it. That's my homemade uh, volt amp meter. Thanks for watching.